Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Today I started my walking and uh, it went really well. I feel great. Legs burned a little bit coming up a couple of the hills, so that was good. So today we're, it's Friday, so we're going to have some fish. Now I'm going to fix the rest of that mahi-mahi. I bought it oh, a couple of weeks ago. I think I did a video on it. We fixed it in a little uh, uh, paper type thing in the oven with vegetables and everything. So this time, the, the other two pieces, I'm just going to kind of cook them in the skillet in a little bit of butter. All right, here we go. So I'm going to put it on like medium, medium, low heat. And all I'm going to do is sprinkle on a little bit of dill weed. Now I love dill weed with uh, fish, really, of any kind. Just a little bit right on the top. Now, the uh, mahi-mahi is a very, uh, how shall we say, tight grained fish. It, it reminds me of uh, fresh salmon because it's such a tight grain on it. And this is wild caught, so that should be good. Now I've already fixed spoon bread and I've already got a little salad fixed. So we're going to let this cook a little bit on each side and when it's done we'll be back. Okay, the fish is done. Again, this is mahi-mahi, and I've just cooked it in about a teaspoon of butter, and then I like to flavor the fish with dill weed. I just think it goes great uh, on fish, really, of any kind. Okay, we are ready to eat, so I'm going to take these up. That one goes on my husband's plate. This one looks like mine. He always gets the biggest, of course, because he needs more calories than I do. All right, so here we have it. Mahi-mahi, just cooked in the skillet uh, on sort of medium-low heat. It's just slightly browned in about a teaspoon of butter. There's the uh, spoon bread. I ha I'm, I'm addicted to it, and I admit it. All right, so it's got a little butter on it and a salad, and the salad has uh, carrots, just regular iceberg lettuce, some thin sliced apples, and this stuff right on top is peach salsa. Now, uh, my husband ordered this from Amazon. You can actually make your own. It's quite delicious, and it goes super well with fish, and what I really like to do is put it right on top of the fish, but this time I decided to put it on the salad just so y'all could see the mahi-mahi in all of its glory. Look at this piece. It is just great. Okay, so here are the ingredients in this peach salsa. It does have tomatoes in it. And onions, sugar, tomato paste, cider vinegar, salt. And this is, there they've got a little scripture on it. And this is Jake and Amos, that's the brand. And it, they are Amish, and uh, that's who packages this. But again, you can actually make your own. If you can find some peaches, or even using canned peaches would work, I'm sure. Again, Jake and Amos, and I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, little icon on my website, some product, products I recommend. Uh, so if you want to order some of this, it goes great with fish. All right. So there's the plate, and I went ahead and put the uh, peach uh, salsa on the salad. Spoon bread, mahi-mahi. And the mahi-mahi is absolutely delicious. It's not fishy at all. All right, we will see y'all next time.